PG&E cutting power to hundreds of thousands of customers in California in an effort to prevent wildfires. We spoke to some Californians about the outage. Here's what they said. I think it's kind of a situation of like, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Um, so, you know, I'm, at least they're doing something. I'm not sure what I would do in their shoes. I'm sure they have lots of different factors to think about. Obviously, as a consumer, it's not a great situation to be in, but it's hard to know what I would have done. The reason that I've heard for the shutdown is that they're trying to protect, um, I guess, like potential impacts from occurring and that seems cool but it like it's weird to me that they can predict that now but they couldn't predict that a year ago nbc's ali wolf has more on the story in santa rosa california for us hi ali Hi, Wolf. Yes, we are seeing the effects of more than 500,000 PG&E customers without power. Here in Santa Rosa alone, we have already seen the effects. We see gas stations on each corner of the intersection where I'm standing. They are closed. The traffic signals are black right now. It's causing a lot of confusion for drivers here. They are trying to treat it as a stop sign, but some drivers are getting confused. We have already witnessed two car crashes right here on this corner. Also, a big effect on businesses. Lots of these businesses have signs on their doors that they are closed today. We spoke to one business as they were loading up meat and vegetables. That one business alone says they're trying to save $5,000 worth of food. So you can only imagine the effect on businesses all throughout the Bay Area and Northern California with the power preemptively shut down to try and prevent wildfires. Thank you, Allie. Just as you're speaking there, I think we're all just sort of cringing at the traffic behind you, hoping that we don't uh, witness another accident. Hopefully the drivers can figure that out and everyone can stay safe in this adage. Allie, thank you very much. Well, let's get another.